Governor Eric Greitens is facing a number of serious allegations coming from a woman that he had an affair with. And according to a report that was recently released to the public, we have more information about some of the sexual misconduct that he has been accused of by this very woman. Now the 25 page report was released by a special committee of the Missouri House of Representatives, which convened to investigate Greitens after he was indicted back in February. So to give you some additional context to the story, it all came to light when the woman who is making these allegations said that he was concerned that she might make the affair or information about the affair public. And so he brought her to his home, had her tied up and blindfolded, by the way, naked, and then proceeded to take a photo of her and then use that photo as blackmail. And I guess the strategy didn't work out so well. <laughs> and now there is a serious investigation into these allegations. Now in sworn testimony, the woman accused Greitens of forcing her into a bear hug and putting her on the floor when she attempted to leave his basement back in 2015. She also testified that he forced her into oral sex while she was crying uncontrollably. Finally, the woman also told lawmakers that Greitens blindfolded her, tore her shirt open, pulled her pants down, took a photo without her consent, spat in her face and called her, quote, a little whore. I didn't understand, those things happen at the same time. It doesn't really matter, but I thought those were over two different times, but maybe I, I misread it. Uh, she eventually said that she acquiesced to the oral sex. You can hardly, there's no acquiescence there because she thought it was the only way out of the basement. Like right. Her way to freedom was to uh, complete the act. Um, so prior to this report being released, Greitens held a press conference and said, the report is full of lies, it is a political hit job, this is a witch hunt. In fact, we'll play you a portion of that and come right back. Over three years ago, I made a personal mistake. I engaged in a consensual relationship with a woman who is not my wife. It was a private mistake that I regret every day. And with the help of friends and loved ones and prayer, my family moved forward. This was a private mistake that has nothing to do with governing and shouldn't be about politics. But people are turning that personal mistake into a political spectacle and telling new lies about it. So he's denying it. He says that it was a consensual affair that he regrets, but that nothing was done against her will and that these charges are unfounded. It's beyond a personal mistake now. This it, it has crossed that, uh, that barrier. This uh, political witch hunt, this report, which was released uh, Wednesday night by the uh, Missouri lawmakers, are made up of uh, two Democratic lawmakers. Thank you. And five. Republican lawmakers. Right. That's who's orchestrating the witch hunt against him is a report that is 71% Republican. And Josh Hawley, who is the, Demo the Republican candidate for Senate against Claire McCaskill, immediately said this is ridiculous and he's got to go. Uh, so once your own turn on you, it's a matter of I When this first came out, I don't know when it was, a couple of months ago, um, two, three months ago, I, uh, I tweeted he's not going to make it till morning. I was wrong, but he's not going to make it till morning. Uh, he, uh, you know, this is a guy, uh, years ago, he reserved Eric Greitens for president mm -hmm. dot com. Uh, and you know he's a handsome guy. He looks like a politician in he's front a of the mic. Veteran. He's a Rhodes Scholar, a Navy SEAL, Bronze Star, Purple Heart. Everything about him. he's the second youngest governor in the country. So everything about him suggested that he was a star on the rise. But it turns out that he should be in prison. He's an abusive if, creep. Forget yeah. the should be in prison for the assault itself. Uh, if you want to debate the merits what about of the blackmail, blackmail. The blackmail yeah, seems. Right. The blackmail seems. Eat more easily provable, right. but for both, he deserves to be not out of office, but he deserves to spend like five to seven years uh, right. behind bars. For president of Block B. Right, totally. Yeah. Yeah, right. So if you look at public opinion in his state, uh, it appears that uh, a lot of people are turning on him, including some of his uh, constituents who voted for him. 47% of people in Missouri disapproved of the job that uh, Eric Greitens is doing. 48% think he should resign. And 36% say that he shouldn't. So this more people crazy. believe he should resign. I know, but 36%, I mean, it's- That's so they, disappointing. It's not, I mean, first of all, how does Missouri get away with having a, a, a panel of seven where it's not 4-3? It was 5-2 Republicans. Right, like, that's true, I yeah. mean, the deck is stacked in his favor. 
Uh, and the report came out against him because they found these two pieces of chilling information, one, the attack itself, uh, and then the, the blackmail. He's a criminal. Yeah. Eric Reitens is a criminal, and and it's not it's not hard it's not hard no matter your party affiliation uh, to say that. It's the state criminal. party that brought you Todd Akin. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. What you just watched was one of the videos that we do today, but we actually do a whole two hour show every single day. It's a podcast. You could watch it in video or listen to it as audio. You can download it. You can stream it, and you get it completely ad free if you could become a member of the Young Turks. Tytnetwork.com/slash/join.